All right, so we mentioned um, how we could reuse leather grips. So I figured it'd be a good, uh, good thing to show you exactly how to take off that replacement leather grip and replace it. Start by taking that tape off. What I usually do is I take the tape and I actually just set it up on the throw of the racket so I can reuse it after. And then slowly making sure you don't destroy the double-sided tape. In this case, there's also tape that's just sitting there to make it more sticky because this material is resin and this will, be, this will be usually very slippery. So if you just have the resin, generally, unless you have a very strong double-sided tape, it won't hold. And so what I do next is I start on one side and this is where customization comes into play. A lot of players like to have a, a sort of a bigger sort of ball on the bottom. I like to have it pretty thin. So I start here. And then from there, you really, really want to pull pretty hard because otherwise the leather just won't hold. And then in terms of overlap, you generally have minimal overlap for the leather grip. Otherwise, it'll feel too thick. And what's important here is to really try to apply some pressure every time you pull the grip around. A good way to do that is maybe to staple the beginning of the grip or to use like I said, double-sided tape, just to make sure it doesn't slip around the racket. All right. And now for the end, you want to basically just cut the end part. This one was already used, so there's no need to cut anything there. And then set up your little tape. Put that little protection back on, and we're all set. I'm going to show you how to regrip um, with an overgrip. So I'm actually going to show you two ways. First way is going to be with very, very minimal overlap because you actually have to have a little bit of overlap. And the second way I'm going to show you with some overlap where I overlap about half the width of uh, the overgrip. So here we've got some super tack overgrips. All right, let's take one of, one of these out first. There you go, so now they have plastic protection on both sides, which is, which is good. All right, so here's the first one where we're gonna try to apply very little overlap. Let's see how that looks. So it's, a good, it's a good thing to actually follow the way um, your base grip is, uh, is set. Because you can set it up, you can set it up like you're a righty or like you're a lefty. I'm a righty, so I'm gonna set it up exactly the same way. There's one good thing that overgrips have is this little part of tape at the very beginning so you can make sure it doesn't move when you first set it up. So as you can see, the whole purpose of having this minimal overlap is so that you can feel that your, your grip feels smooth at the end. So you're going to feel, you're barely going to feel any overlap here. And so by the end, you might have a little bit of leftover and some players like to cut it off, some players like to Grip all the way down. And to cut it off, it's pretty simple. You can use scissors. What I do is just pull it out. And then apply that little tape. The job is done. There we go. As you can see here, there's just a little bit of overlap. And so it's sort of to con compare that, we're gonna use this next grip and we're gonna apply a lot more overlap, about half the width of this overgrip. Yeah, this is the tough part, but I got it. There we go. And I'm just gonna illustrate that little, that little tape thing that comes with it and see if you just remove that thing, that bottom part is gonna to stick to your, to your replacement grip and is gonna make it easier to pull through. So let's see, there we go. So here again, we're gonna use more overlap and we will be able to see a difference. So this will make the grip feel slightly bigger, but mostly you're just gonna feel the overlap. And for some people, It'll help them grip the racket a little bit better. I'm also going to have a lot less leftover at the end. 
So as you can see, the length of these overgrips are meant to allow for some overlap without running out. Although this one, I'm not gonna be able to make it to the top, which is fine. There we go. So just to contrast, I applied a lot of overlap on this one, which, uh, which stopped me from going all the way up. You could have a little less overlap and, and manage to go all the way up the racket, but this, that way we can actually see the difference between the two.